All right, I have returned. Uh, I realized that I don't know how to change like stuff for my scene in OBS while uh, while on a different screen. So I'm gonna have to do it here, but that's okay. I already have the game up. Studio mode. What is what is that? All right. Perfect. How does that look and sound? It'd be a bit much to troubleshoot via Twitch chat, but look it up later. That's what I do. Uh, fair enough. <laughs> looks sound. Looks sounds fine to me. Okay, perfect. All right. Uh, I've jumped straight into the third one. Uh, there is a Spark the Electric Jester one and two. Uh, the first game looks like it is a two D platformer uh and the second one looks good uh but i heard that if you're gonna play the second one you should play the third one which is which has a lot of stuff from the second one in it so that's why we've gone straight to the third one oh let me change uh my stream info really quick Normal and normal. I am completely unfamiliar with this franchise and this game, so this should be uh, this should be interesting. I love that stage intro. I was not expecting to be driving. <laughs> what? This music is really good. I need to get used to this drifting, though. I'm used to Mario Kart 8 drifting. That is not what this is. All right. 
Chomp, double jump, dash, special move. Oh. All right, that was a pretty cool first level, though. Every stage has a set of special goals. Those special goals are speed medals, score medals, and explore medals. Speed medals can be attained by beating a stage quickly. You can see the threshold for obtaining a speed medal in the world map after you select your desired stage. Not all stages have speed medals, though. Score medals can be obtained by getting a certain amount of score. You can see the amount necessary after selecting a stage, and all stages have score medals. Scores obtained from collecting collectibles, destroying enemies and objects. Not all objects are destructible. Okay, so for score, collect things and destroy enemies and objects. You can even get more you can get even more score by increasing your score multiplier. Everything that increases your score also increases your multiplier, but collecting bits is the best way to increase your multiplier. You can also find exploration medals. There are 10 hidden around every stage. Some stages might have less than 10 though. You can review all this in the pause menu. Okay, perfect. Does the first stage have medals? It does. You know what? Let me replay it. Let me... Let me get a... Now that I know what I'm doing. I feel like I'm kind of lagging a little bit. How is uh, how is the stream looking? Those do not increase my score. Okay. Seems I to me. Okay, perfect. I want to know where these medals are that it looked like we're in the stage. I felt like I looked around and didn't see them. That's okay. We'll just play through the game. I wonder if I need it to be under two minutes.
Double moon. Okay, area one. Terminal village. Double moon villa. Get to the goal. All right. Hello, Sem... Semista? Lilify? Oh, I probably said that so wrong. I am very sorry. <laughs> Hello, welcome in! Spork is my dude, what a fun game. I've never played this game, and I know nothing about it, but I already love it. To unlock more stages, you need freedom medals. Oh, I will need those, okay. Each stage you beat gets you one. Review all this later, okay. But yeah, hello, hello, welcome in. I just finished playing Lunastus, and uh, I'm now playing this for the first time. I feel like I am la lagging a little bit, though, so I'm gonna pull up the graphics menu really quick. Yeah, my FPS is pretty low. Uh, maybe not low. Alright. Let me make sure that that stuck. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm still getting like 40 FPS. Yeah, I'm really excited to play it. All right, I am going to turn down this. I'm going to turn it down. I'm turning it to low. Whoa, that's crazy. I'm still getting 40 FPS. This computer is not bad, though. I don't know why it's, uh... It's still only giving me, like, 40 FPS. I have no idea what that was. Oh, it was a Bits bubble. Sorry I keep messing with the, uh, the settings, but that's really bugging me that it looks, it looks uh, like it does. Hey, okay, we're at 60 FPS. Texture terrible, yeah. <laughs> Can I set everything to uh, worst possible uh, everything? You know what, though? I, I did just have to set everything down to the lowest, which is not fantastic. But I do. I am getting 60 FPS now. I, I bet I can probably turn some stuff back up, but I'll mess with that more later. You know what? We'll try... It, it sounds like I'm going to have to play through these stages more than once. Uh, potentially. Since it says I need medals, and there's a lot of medals per stage. Oh. Since one of them was to go fast, I'll try just running through the stage. Oh, I missed that. It is really funny, though, that one of the settings was just straight up just terrible. I will say moving fast feels pretty good in this. 
Yeah, we, we're all about that speed right now. <laughs> Oh, well, what? Parry... Parry, block, heavy attack, light attack. Interesting. That looked like a place where there might be something up there. Yeah, moving fast than that felt really good. Did I just not get a medal? Was I not fast enough? Ah, there you are. For context, I'm your... subconscious. Subconscious. Just here to catch you up on what's been going on. Got it? Before you go back to... whatever you were doing, let's go, ever go over everything that led us here. Hello, Raptor. Yes, we gotta go faster. So, we're Spark. A simple formy living his life. After we graduated from college, we tried our best to find a job. But we had no luck. We even became a street performer once. That's how we have this hat. And yeah, we built it ourselves. It gave us our electric powers. And then everyone's robots started to go on a rampage. That's how it all started. Apparently, it was all orchestrated by this guy. Freon. And something called Clarity, apparently. Yeah, well, keep that in mind for later, okay? Anyways, this is when we went in our journey to stop him. And it's where we met... This guy. He's... Complicated. So, like... He was supposed to be Freon's son, somehow, and Freon built him to eventually replace him. And it's by mere coincidence that he ended up looking like me. It's crazy talk. As you can probably tell, we don't really buy this story. More than likely, he's just another tyrant, just like his so-called dad. And, no surprise, he eventually defeated Freon. Now he runs an organization, appropriately called the Fark Force. Why, you ask? To stop Clarity, they say. Clarity is this evil program that will infect everything and take over the world. Yeah, right. Now the world has been completely militarized. The internet was shut down, and we couldn't travel anymore. Everywhere you go, you see his goons. Man, I hate that faker. And to top it all off, he totally stole my looks. He even named his army after himself. What a total narcissist. Oh, he didn't know what else to name it, he says. And finally, that brings us to... us. Remember that check from Armstrong? Yeah, well, all that money was suddenly gone. Internet was down, couldn't access it. Had to go to the bank to get it. As you can imagine, the lines were huge. That's when I had enough. And here we are. Down with the Fark Force. Let's tear them down like there's no tomorrow. Come on, let's go. Alright, thank you for the exposition dump. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of nodes. Challenge 1, slope jumping. Get to the goal. Seems easy enough. Use slopes to jump higher. Jump 
in a slope to go higher. Okay. So in a nutshell, Sparks, like, fight the power down with the establishment. Yeah, pretty much. That's kind of what I got from that. Challenge 2, Jester Dash. Press the Jester Dash button to immediately destroy a small enemy. Okay. Is, uh, very satisfying. Charged Jester Jash. It's nice that these uh, challenges seem like they're kind of like tutorials. Okay. Normal dash. Kind of used to uh, Sonic style. That's rough, buddy. Oh, I should have saved my jump. <laughs> yeah, the, now the deaths start flowing. I'm used to Sonic style where you just don't jump and then press it again to do the spin dash. But in this one, it's a uh, it's a separate button. Oh, I did it again. I will eventually get used to it. yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're just they're just flowing easy now. I'll eventually uh, remember that it's a separate button.
I'll get the muscle memory down eventually. I rise tracks, get to the goal. Alright. Let's go fast. Nice, I think we got the time medal. Look like. Cold, dry desert. Oh, before the timer runs out. In this stage, you have to finish the stage before the timer runs out. Go for it. Okay, so there are different types of stages besides just get to the end. And with 18 seconds to spare. Find all medals before the timer runs out. Alright. In this stage, you can collect all medals before timer runs out. You don't need to collect them all, just a set amount. Good luck. Okay. AM Village. Okay, that's half of them. There's one up there. You know what, we'll go that way next.
Alright, we just have to find one more. Oh, there it is. That wasn't too bad. Special training. I wonder, is this just like a big playground area? It is. There's a shop. <laughs> the void. Extra moves, extra powers, upgrades, jester powers. Finger gun. Oh, that looks pretty good. Ooh. Hey, those were some pretty good looking things there. Oh, there's powers. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. Let's take this this charge shot though. Yeah. <laughs> classic classic Metroid. I want some of these other powers, so we'll come back. Saw man. Bigger enemies need to be attacked to be destroyed. Make sure to check the All Moves page in the pause menu to all your moves. Some moves can launch enemies in the air. Combo. I heard the bar the more damage you deal, but hitting enemies with the same attack over and over won't raise it. Hold parry to block attacks. Do right before an attack to gain a lot of energy and stun. Red attacks can be parried. Yellow attacks cannot. Green attacks are grabs. Okay, so yellow and green run away. Red... I can parry it. All right, I did not do that right. There we go. Oh, there's more than one phase.
I was not expecting this game to have like uh, a more in-depth, more in-depth combat than like Sonic does. I figured I would just be like one or two ways to damage enemies. I wasn't expecting multiple attacks and moves and parrying. Pretty crazy. My combo. Is there a phase three? Oh. All right. Well, we got yeeted. That was pretty cool. Spark had a look uh, like he does not take. Like he he's very serious. <laughs> he doesn't take anything from anybody. I wonder how many areas are in this game. Area two, Dry Neon Desert, Lost Riviera. Jump on a rail to ride the rail. Press dash to dash. You can build up speed on a downhill by crouching. But where they're crouching will make you lose speed uphill. Oh boy. And then uh, jump. Okay. Hopefully this isn't like the rails in uh, Sonic Adventure 2. Wow. This area looks a ton like, uh... Gosh, whatever that area was called in Sonic Heroes. The, uh, the train section. Does this not look a ton like the train section? For those who played Sonic Heroes or watched me play it. Yeah, it looks so much like it. Almost one to one, yeah. It really, it really is giving me a lot of vibes from that. Yeah, I'm liking this music too. Whoops.
What's next? They're gonna be a cannon? Only if it's a cannon that's made of four... four revolvers. Yeah, I saw a lot of people talking about how this game was like what they wish that Sonic could be. Like 3D Sonic was. And I totally get it now. And the rails aren't hostile. Yeah. For the most part. Uh, Oh my gosh, I went flying at the end of that. <laughs> that stage was awesome. That that was the best stage yet. Like to play. That felt really good. Is that a katana? Oh, I'm going right into a boss. Oh my gosh. He's destroying me right now. I'm gonna beat this guy. Oh 
Oh my gosh. Once there was a castle. It was a fancy castle, the best of its kind. The castle had a guardian, guarding it every day and every night, all alone. The guardian was very good at his job, but nonetheless, he was just a young boy. But one day, deep within the castle, something came into being, something special. While the guardian patrolled the castle, he heard a voice coming through the walls. It was a girl. A kind girl. Oh, look at him blushing. In secret, away from the castle staff, the boy and the girl began to talk in secret. In no time, the boy and the girl became very good friends. It was because of their friendship that, in secret, the girl manifested a body of her own. From here on, their relationship continued to grow and grow and grow. This is when the girl revealed her secret. We're special, she said. The whole castle was built to conceive me, she continued. You are my treasured guardian, and together we have a destiny. The girl continued to explain what made her special. She explained she had a higher level of consciousness and looked at everyone with pity as they were not able to perceive the world as she did. The boy was fascinated by the girl, and from that day onwards, the boy and the girl formed an even stronger bond. But unfortunately for the two, one day, the castle staff found out about the two and took the girl away from the boy. The young guardian was overcome with anger and sorrow. He mourned for days, which quickly turned into weeks. In those days, he deeply reflected about her and the castle staff. He did not like the castle staff. They were distant, never came close unless absolutely necessary. He was always alone, ever since he came into being. She was the only one who made him feel complete. But one day he heard her voice, coming from the walls. The girl had returned, this time without her body. At first the boy thought the castle staff had permanently changed her. But he was overcome with joy when he realized she was still the same as she once was. I just had to act nice, she continued. From that day on, they promised to each other that they would fulfill their destinies together. Their destiny. To rid the world of meaningless life. The girl wished to share her higher level of being with everyone else, to bring a new, brighter world. To this goal, the boy adopted a new, more domineering personality, a new name, and a remotely controlled body. This pleased the girl. Together, they banished the castle staff and forcefully persuaded every robot to follow their will. With everything in place, their plan was set in motion. But the boy felt a deep anxiety. He knew he was inferior to the girl. He did not share her level of consciousness. He could never have her level of consciousness. So he had an idea. Together with the girl, they conceived a child. This is an interesting plot. <laughs> it would be created by her, but built in his image. The child was created with unlimited potential. Potential he would grow into over the course of his life. Their child would take the place of someone else. And be set out in the world with only one goal. To kill his own father and take his place. But the boy had one final wish for his child. He wished that the child would be sent out with no memories of who he was or why he was created. He wanted the child to realize his destiny by himself, just like he did. With the child being conceived, it eased the boy's anxiety. Feeling better, they proceeded with their plan. And with that, this marks the end of our tale. Well, that wasn't a very happy story. <laughs> I 
That was a lot to unpack. Yeah, I guess I was supposed to lose. He, that, he felt really strong. Like, he kind of felt like one of those you're supposed to lose fights. I wonder if I could have beat him, though. I, I imagine it would have ended the same way. With him just throwing me off a cliff. But yeah, that was a lot to unpack. I'm playing this game to go fast, and now it's making me think and feel. <laughs> I was really on the uh, the boy, the, the guardian side, uh, up until the whole uh, destroy everybody part. For some wall jumping. That one was pretty easy. Wall walking. Is this similar to wall running? Oh, it is. Okay. Too easy. Next time, no floor or walls. You're right. Oh. We'll pretend that one didn't happen. Oh, I, I think if I... Yeah, I spoke too soon. I think if I jump, uh, like my double jump, it, it consumes it. Like, I can't use... Oh my gosh. Yep. Okay. That's okay. I learned something interesting there. Just jumping too soon. Oh boy. Okay. We made it. Everything is fine. I feel like the camera kind of got me on that one. Oh, I already double jumped. Gonna have to be careful now. Zero. Get as much score as you can before the timer runs out. 
What a stage. I heard a death noise at the end. I did too. <laughs> In a raid stage, your goal is to get as much score as possible before the timer runs out. Collecting collectibles, destroying enemies and objects. Collect bits. Uh, gotta go. Later, Plum. Have a nice day. Yeah, have a great day, John. Thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it. Uh, and thank you for the sub earlier. That was very nice. I appreciate it. Yeah, see you next time. I don't know if you have to breathe. Wait, that says exit. Oh, but it's not open. Level up. That thing was shooting me through terrain.
Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but it said that when time runs out, if I've hit the minimum, that counts as exiting too, right? So I don't need to run to an exit right now if I don't want it. Getting to the to the second score threshold is like kind of a lot. You know what? I think I'm gonna end this stage. Oh, that's a times a zero. Get to the goal. I think I'll probably call it for the day after this level. There's a lot of waves of enemies to do here.
All right. I think we'll call it here for the day. And then we will be back tomorrow for more. Because this game is super fun. So, let me... Wrap it up for the day. That was really fun. Uh, Lunistus, of course, was amazing. Uh, and Spark 3 was really good, too. That, that was really fun. I'm looking forward to playing more of that tomorrow, for sure. Uh, thank you so much, everybody, who came uh, to the stream today. I really appreciate it. Uh, hearing everybody welcoming me back and saying they missed me, uh, that was really nice. Uh, for a second, I almost got really emotional at one point because of that. <laughs> but it's really nice to be back. Uh, I really did miss everybody and missed doing this. And it's a lot of fun. So with that, I'm going to uh, head out of here, and I will see you all tomorrow. You all have a great rest of your day. See you tomorrow, everyone.